What's up guys, Peter here. So you guys know 2k pretty much just revolves around VC. You need VC to pretty much buy everything in the game. So that makes it extremely important. Now, of course, 2k being 2k, they're making it progressively harder for you to actually earn VC and want you to lean towards buying it even over the course of just 2k17 itself. And I'm going to be helping you guys earn more VC with these unlimited VC methods. So make sure you guys smash that like button down below. See if you can hit 500 likes. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more daily content. And I want to do a little bit of a poll before this video starts. So if you've bought $20 or more worth of VC, type 1 in the comment section. And if you've spent $20 or less or just no money on VC, type 2. I want to see how many people actually buy VC. And let's get right into it. So there's three primary modes that will get you the most VC. You have my career, you have my park, including the stage and high rollers, and you have Pro-Am. Now, the reason why I don't say 2K TV is because in my experience, if you do not watch the most recent episode, they won't give you any VC or they'll barely give you any. And if you do watch the most recent episode, uh, I don't even know if it still gives you VC, but regardless, it'll give you a lot less VC than you get last year. Plus, it's not a constant flow of VC. You're only getting one episode a week uh so and so right so basically that's why i picked those three modes and we're gonna start off with my career so the problem with my career and earning vc first of all you can earn a lot of vc playing my career but first uh they did patch a lot of the endorsements i'm gonna talk more about that but uh, the way you would earn VC in my career or what would give you the most VC kind of contradicts the way you would earn badges. For example, uh, playing on Hall of Fame difficulty gives you four times the amount of VC as you play on Rookie, but uh, it's going to be a lot harder to get your badge unless it's like attempts instead of makes. So some badges are like that. I would recommend playing on Hall of Fame. But a quick tip for you guys that will earn you a lot more VC when grinding for badges. I actually like to play on pro sometimes because it's just a little bit harder than rookie. You might miss a little bit less shots, but you get twice the amount of VC. So you're getting badges and you're getting VC to either upgrade the badges or upgrade your player or anything like that. So that's just a quick tip while grinding. And also, uh, this is another thing. You get more VC for playing shorter quarters but you want longer quarters so you get the badge like you know what i mean so uh i would i'd still put it on 12 minute quarters now while you're in the game obviously points rebounds assists any stat will increase the amount of vc you get but there's also some other things you want to think about while you're playing the game which does tie along with endorsements so uh first of all i would just accept the endorsements never ask for more money because if you just keep asking for more money by the time you actually get like the maxed out endorsement uh, you're not going to be earning as much money overall in the long run because you're just going to be stop. You're going to stop playing micro. I mean, you're only grinding for your badges and your attributes. So um, that's what I mean. I would just accept the deals and you're going to get a lot of deals. But also, uh, you're going to see these little things such as like, oh, buzzer beaters give you this or double doubles will give you that or national TV game or highlight plays or something like that will give you extra VC. So just keep that in mind while you're playing micro games. Those can really help. Now, another reason why I say that the way you would earn VC in my career kind of contradicts uh, grinding for badges and attributes is like you'll have options where you can go to endorsements or go to practice or optional practice or something like that. Now, if I'm grinding for my attributes, I don't know how much you guys care about attributes. That's all up to you. I would just go to the practice and sometimes you'd miss out on the VC, but that's really up to you. Just know that endorsements are really inconsistent now that 2K patched it. So some events you'll earn more than like 2,000, 3,000 VC. And there's also a lot of other events that you'll only earn like 50 or like a couple hundred, right? So just keep that in mind. The bigger companies will usually give you the most VC. My career is a great way to earn VC if you don't have anybody to play with or if your players are low overall or if you're just grinding for badges. So uh, next, we're going to move on to Pro-Am. Now, I just play Pro-Am kind of for fun. I like playing Pro-Am. So this is just going to be a quick one. Obviously, uh, having a good teammate grade, getting good stats, being involved in the offense, playing good defense. Uh, just getting a good teammate rate and having a good performance, having a good stat line will give you a better chance of getting a good VC amount. And when you're playing Pro-Am, this is also specifically for Pro-Am. Uh, you're going to try to get player of the half, player of the game, etc., which means your team has to be winning. So I wouldn't hop on with randoms or I think your team has to be winning. But uh, I just try to stand out from your team, try to just put on a great performance and you will be able to get uh, those extra VC bonuses for player of the half or player of the game. Now, moving on to my part, this is obviously going to be the fastest way to get VC because, I mean, my career used to be super fast, but they patched a lot of the endorsements because we were doing the endorsement glitch and whatnot. But uh, Park is very similar to Prom if you're just going to be playing Park. So you're going to want a good teammate, great, good performance, etc. But if you're playing stage or high rollers, you're going to be able to get VC super fast. Now, stage is usually every week from Monday, uh, Monday through Thursday. So uh, that's pretty good. You can just play on 5K court. 
always play on the highest court possible, obviously for the most amount of VC, but you do want to have a good squad so you don't end up losing VC. So uh, you can have stage 5K court Monday through Thursday, but you also have high rollers when you can play on a 25K court. And actually, if you go on a win streak just for an hour, you play like 8, 10 games, something like that, uh, you will be able to pretty much upgrade a whole player with the VC that you got. You're going to get about 200,000 VC, which is definitely enough to max out a player so that's why i suggest just playing a lot of high rollers but you do have to be very good and uh obviously that'll give you the most vc all right that's it for today keep shooting if you want to hang around oh, oh man i am exhausted best feeling in the world right Invigorating. <laughs> i guess so man look college was never this hard man you did one year one year i did four and i still feel like i'm starting over all right, Mr. Four, yeah, I feel like I'm starting from the beginning, too. It doesn't make a difference whether I did one or four. Uh, so it seems, but just make sure you put some ice on those knees, all right? It's a long season. Yep, so I've heard. Yo, bruh, practice is hard, man, I'm gassed. Yeah, but it makes the games easy. <laughs> easy? The games is already easy for me. What, what, I need a temper chair? <laughs> what, coach gonna come over here and rub my feet? <laughs> the only way the game could be easier if I was at home on my couch being on the bench. Oh, excuse me, King Tut. My bad, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sure coach would rub your feet if you ask him. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any of your own VC methods in the comment section below. Again, make sure you guys smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.